What's up guys, Rampage here again, bringing you today's question of the day. So for today's question, I'm going to be asking you guys, what is your favorite water type move? Now you have some cool water type moves out there. You have the standard Surf, Waterfall, Hydro Pump. You have Aqua Jet. Um, what else? Crab Hammer, I guess if you like that. Muddy Water, you know, whatever floats your boat. None of those are my favorite water type move though. My favorite water type move is... Water Spout, because Specs Kyogre with Water Spout at full HP destroys everything, so yeah. Leave your answers in the comments below, and let's get started with the battle. What's up guys, Rampage here again, bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Here we have a battle against someone who goes by the name of Dubaro that I found off of Smogan. I wanted an OU match, and he was hosting one, so I decided to battle this guy. But when we get to the team preview, I see that he's using a bunch of UUs, in fact 5 UUs, and 1 OU being Ferrothorn. So I'm thinking, well, this guy probably would have just been better off playing some UU, but I'll still battle him anyway. So anyway, I'm thinking that he might lead off with the Darmanitan, so I'm just going to um, lead off with my Rotom. But in fact, he's going to lead off with his Yan Mega, so that's whatever. I really don't think Yan Mega can hurt me too much. I do know that it gets Giga Drain, but I think Rotom can take that fairly decently. But he's actually going to go for the Protect to get a speed boost. You know, I could have been Scarf, so I guess he just wanted to make sure he was faster. And he's going to go for the Hypnosis, and I'm like, what? Who uses Hypnosis on Yen Mega anymore? Who uses Hypnosis anymore? But anyway, he hits the Hypnosis, puts me to sleep, <clears throat> which is unfortunate because now I'm asleep. And I was trying to Vault Switch out, which would have done a lot of damage to this thing, but oh well. He's going to go for the Bug Buzz. That's going to do almost half, and I don't see any Life Warp, so I'm not sure what this Yen Mega is. But anyway, now he's going to switch out. He's going to go out into his Ferrothorn, and I'm also going to switch out. I'm going to go out into my Jirachi because... I know that he can't put me to sleep again because of Sleep Claws, and I can just take this chance to set up my Stealth Rocks. And yeah, Mega can't really hurt me too much, but like I said, he went out in the Ferrothorn, and he's actually going to go for the Thunder Wave. And I don't know why, but I, I just thought that this thing would have it for some reason. I'm not sure why. But now I'm going to go out into my Landorus, thinking that he's not going to go for the Leech Seed, that he just really wants to set up his Hazards. But no, he is going to go for the Leech Seed, and I was just planning on firing off some earth powers on that thing because I just wanted to get damage on it but um I don't want you know leech seed I don't want him getting any leech seed recovery I don't want to take any damage away from myself with leech seed so I'm going to switch on to my Celebi Celebi can't be leech seeded I could just go for the hidden power but he's also going to switch out and go out to his dust clops I'm going to go for the um what's that move called the nasty plot and then I'm going to go for the giga drain I get a crit on him unfortunately which kind of does matter because now he really can't switch out because of Stealth Rocks. And I can just take him out with another Giga Drain. He is going to hit a Will-O-Wisp, which doesn't really matter because of Natural Cure. And he's going to hit me with a Sucker Punch, so Dusclops with Sucker Punch. Hmm. But anyway, I'm able to take out the Dusclops, which is nice and dandy. So I don't have to deal with that Dusclops anymore, meaning my Terrakion can fire off some um, close combat a lot easier. Now he's going to go out into his Darmanitan, the... I'm pretty sure that the U-turn is obvious because he can get initiative. Well, he can't get initiative if he takes me out, takes out my Celebi, but it's obvious that I will switch, so he would get initiative. But he actually goes for the Flare Blitz, which is fine by me <clears throat> because since Rotom is asleep, I really can't deal with this Darmanitan anyway, so I'm just going to fodder off my Rotom, and then I can get a safe switch out into my Terrakion, which can hit anything pretty hard with a close combat barring the um, Yen Mega, but the Stealth Rocks are up, so even the Yen Mega wouldn't want to come in. So anyway, he is going to switch out. He's going to go out into his Blastoise. And this is fine by me. I know the Rapid Spin is coming. I'm just going to hit him with a close combat. I'm Choice Scarf, not Life Orb the Bandit. So this isn't going to be a 2 hit KO, unfortunately. And his Blastoise will be able to get off the Rapid Spin. But I still do have my Jirachi. So I'm not really worried about this Blastoise Rapid Spin. And like I said, I'm pretty sure he wants to Rapid Spin because he does have two guys weak to him. And Yen Mega, which is very weak to Rapid Spin, so that's why I stayed in with my Terrakion, even though the Scald was a was a risk. But anyway, I'm just going to hit him with another Close Combat, and I'm able to take out this Blastoise, so I don't have to worry about this Spinner anymore. In fact, I thought he would switch out into his Yan Mega, because Yan Mega does 4 times resist fighting, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, he's going to bring out Darmanitan, I'm just going to Close Combat that. He's most likely Scarfed, and he probably thought he would outspeed me and take me out with a Super Power, but that's not the case, because I'm Scarfed. And now I don't have to deal with Darmanitan anymore, which was actually kind of a threat to my team. But anyway, now he's going to bring out Yen Mega. I think I'm at like minus four, 
three? Minus three or four? One of those, I don't remember. But I definitely wouldn't have taken a hit from this Yan Mega, so I'm going to go out into my Jirachi. Because Jirachi can take hits from this thing quite easily. Well, not easily, but they can take hits from this thing fairly well. And I can just go for the Body Slam on him to try and paralyze him, which I do score to paralyze first turn, which is nice. But I can't really para flinch him with my Jirachi because I am paralyzed myself and he does outspeed me. He is going to get paralyzed this turn. I don't know what he was going to go for. I'm just going to take this chance to set up my Stealth Rocks. I don't really think the para mattered too much. So, yeah. Pretty much nothing going on here. He's actually going to go for the Bug Buzz again. And he just wants to take out my Jirachi, I guess. I could have gone for the Wish, but I really don't need my Jirachi anymore just because... This Yan Mega is paralyzed, and Jirachi was pretty much only needed for the Yan Mega. Nothing else on his team is a threat. And he's just going to keep bug buzzing, and I hit him down below half, so he's actually forced to stay in because of Stealth Rocks, which is nice. He is going to get a Spadef Drop. I don't really think that mattered at all. I'm going to hit him with the Iron Head. Doesn't take him out, and he's just going to be able to take me out with this next bug buzz by the look of it. So he's just going to go, yeah, yeah. He's just going to go for the bug buzz, take me out. And that's fine because I do have my Terrakion, Mamoswine, Landorus, you know, I, I just have a bunch of guys that can just take this thing out. So I'm going to go out into my Swine, go for the Ice Shard, and I can easily take out this um, thing, Yan Mega, I knew what his name was. And now all he has left is Ferrothorn and something else. Okay, he has the Scrafty. So all he has left is Ferrothorn and Scrafty. Superpower will definitely be able to do a lot to the Scrafty, so I'm just going to keep my Mamoswine and go for the Superpower. And in fact, I'm able to take this thing out, so I'm guessing that this was a Dragon Dance set and not a bulkier set, because if it was a bulkier set, he probably could have lived, because, you know, Scrafty does have a lot of good bulk. But anyway, now it's going to go out into, well, yeah, now it's going to go out into a Sparrowthorn. Um, I don't really have a reason to switch out, so I'm just going to stay in, go for the Superpower, and just sack my Mamoswine here, because I do have my Landers and I do have my Terrakion, and I pretty much have the game won since... You know, Ferrothorn is his last guy. And I also have my Celebi left, which has Hidden Power Fire, so... Yeah, I'm just going to sack my Mamoswine here. And now the question is, which one do I want to finish the game with? I decide I want to go out to Landorus, finish the game with him, go for an Earth Power, because Sheer Force Landorus with Earth Power is pretty fun, pretty strong, and I like it. So, yeah, that's going to be the game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please push that like button. Also, leave a comment. I do enjoy reading your comments. Thank you for watching, and this is Rampage here. And I will see you guys in the near future. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And this is me, Rampage, signing out yet again. Peace out.